Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing Corora Tinted Self Tan Mist. This is in the medium dark shade. Um, I ended up giving this mist 2.5 out of 5 stars. So after testing it out, I found it to be very average. Um, as the name says, this is a mist and it comes out very, very fine. Um, it also says it's tinted in the name, which I think is very misleading. Once you spray it onto the mitt, it comes out with like a light gray color, but as you start rubbing it into your skin, you can't see the guide at all. So I would say this one doesn't have a guide, and if you're looking for one with a guide, don't buy this one, because the guide, if it is there, it's really, really light. You can only see it on the mitt, not when you put it onto your skin, which is kind of weird. Um, but like I said, as far as mist go, this one's very, very fine, and it's a little tedious to apply, if I'm honest, because um, you have the instructions say to put it on, spray it onto the mitt, and then put it onto your body. So since this one's so fine, I found like I need, I felt like I needed more product than I normally would to cover my skin. So I was literally pumping forever. I, it took so long to apply it. And it's just really tedious is a good way to describe it. The smell is really bad too. It smells like chemicals coming out of the bottle, like very strongly like alcohol and chemicals. And since it's a mist, you can't help but inhale some of it as you're applying it. And I really didn't like that. Um, as it developed, the smell was still there. I could still smell a little DHA mixed with chemicals. Just wasn't a fan of this one's smell. Um, and like I mentioned, putting it on is um, pretty tedious. If you're used to not applying one with a guide, um, this one would be better for you because it doesn't have a guide in it. The drying time after about 50, so after I first applied it, the first few minutes were very, very sticky. The stickiness went away after about 15 minutes, but it was I could still feel it on my skin. So overall, it took about 30 minutes to completely dry. While you wait for it to dry, it's not very messy. You don't really need to worry about it getting on anything because the guide is non-existent. Um, but I would just still be careful because it is sticky and you don't want to mess up your tan. So make sure you don't really touch anything while you're waiting for it to dry for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is probably about average as far as drying times go. The color this one produced, I really liked my tan the next morning. After I washed it off, I had a medium to dark shade tan. And I tried the medium to dark shade, so it was very accurate. Um, my tan was even and natural looking. I really liked the way it looked. I was actually surprised by how even it was, just due to the application process. But I really, really liked the color this one produced. I just feel like all the other aspects of it were big drawbacks for me. And I think that um, for, the price of this one, you can get a better self tanner, one that gives just as good of color as this one. The, this one lasted about four to five days on my skin, and after it started to fade, it became so splotchy. I kind of looked like a freak, like lizard-like, <laughs> um, because my skin was kind of dried out too. So it faded really, really poorly, and I didn't like the way it looked. I had to scrub at it for a few days to really get it off. Men, you might like this one, if if you're looking for a medium to dark shade and you can kind of bite the bullet in all the other areas. But this one, I don't know. I just feel like it's very average, very middle of the road and for the price you can get better self tanners with just as good of color, even darker if you want to be dark because this is like a medium to dark shade. Not the darkest out there but not super light. Um, I forgot to mention as well, this is 3.38 ounces and it sells for $30. So that works out to $8.88 an ounce which is definitely higher than your average self tanner costs. Um, so overall, like I said, just very middle of the road, very average. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. And for more information on this self tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.